Hey, chicken butts. Anyway, this is, uh, I just have a hard time in my van getting these darn video things right. <laughs> so <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, I still don't think that's working. Oh, there it goes. That's better. Okay. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I did, but I want you, I wanted to think about how I would talk to you about it. Um, it's definitely kind of within my shamanism wheelhouse. And it's more kind of sorcery. So depending on where the shamanism comes from, the word that word shaman is a Siberian term. Uh, so yeah, so be careful how you use that. Um, so you may have people in other parts of the country that are like witch doctors. Uh, First Nation people, um, probably in North America, would be called medicine people. Then there's the shamanic people, shaman people of Siberia. And then there's um, the South American, Toltec, Yaqui. And they would have been called sorcerers. So um, there's just different terms and different lineages. And there's not a one-size-fits-all for traditions that you're learning. So... I've just kind of come to a point where, okay, uh, one of my teachers, um, the Lakota Sioux medicine woman I apprenticed with a year for when I was 23, so I'm like 47 now, um, told me back then that there are people that have power, just natural power, and then there's people that study lineages of power, and we're going to call it superhuman or supernatural power because you can go past the bounds and limitations of this world um, if practiced and, um, you know, committed to, intend on. And so she said that people like us have to refrain from knee-jerk reactions of, you know, getting people back or trying to negotiate back with people or controlling people or doing that things to them energetically, uh, doing things to them magically, shamanically, that we have to refrain from that. Um, because also to some other teachings I've had is about the petty tyrants. So there's a level of learning how to deal with a petty tyrant on a physical world level that's really valuable important in order for you to be able to transcend into some of these um, supernatural um, fields um, that are accessible so my whole life I've, I've really only cursed two people in my whole life um, and one was a bad curse, um, but they rightly deserved it, um, and it just got them off my back for about 10 months, and then I actually released them from it. I just needed a brief period so that I could navigate the physical world in the way that I needed to, um, and then, you know, then I basically um, reversed it. So now i am kind of been working since March with a whole different approach. There are people on this planet that are flat out bad. They're hereditarily bad, genetically bad. And I'm not talking about white supremacy. I'm talking about how they treat the animals and the planet and the resources. Um, they just are really missing a human chromosome sometimes, I think. Anyway. So I just really decided since March that when I come across people like that, that I'm going to curse them. But I don't mean it curse them, curse them. You know, it wouldn't be a curse that transfers down or through family lines. Um, and so let's just take that word lightly until I fully explain um, kind of how I'm doing it and managing it. So. Basically, um, I was at a meeting 
um, a professional meeting and one of the men in it has re attacked me repeatedly. Um, he's been verbally abusive and mentally abusive and emotionally abusive. And he's done this in, in like uh, professional settings as well um, in public where he's screaming at me and like spit is flying out of his mouth onto me and like just the violence of that. And I'm with the crew of people who want a new world. And so all that kind of behavior, you know, I've given it some time. I've, I've allowed people to hopefully transcend, transmute, move forward. But there is a whole bunch of people who are not close uh, to dealing with it. So I kind of feel like because I have some teachings and I have some abilities that I should be more proactive of using my power in a good way. And basically the curse I'm talking about is bringing their karma closer to them faster. So basically what I did was I held this person in my mind and I called out to the whole planet and I looked for a person that needed to make a right by physically injuring someone, right? So this person needs to do right, needs to make right part of their karmic activity by physically harming someone. So I don't really know what that means. I don't know if that this person needs to go to jail to do something because of something they've done past or past life doesn't that part doesn't really matter but I found her and then what I did was I pulled her in and attached her on to this male person which is ironic that it's a woman you know this person hates women hates everybody um yeah and so anyway pulled her in attached her to his field and then drew a circle around it where they were at. Um, and then I intended, I injected into the situation, intended. And basically what I saw was um, her running him over with a car. That was just an intention. It's not the way he has to be physically uh, harmed and go through this experience to kind of... Um, take away more of his freedom to slow him down because the more freedom he takes away, the more reliant he's going to have to be on other people, which is going to be a humbling experience. However, if he chooses not to learn from this experience, um, then he'll just, uh, he won't be fixable by the medical society. Um, and he'll be in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. So he'll be codependent on others for help for the rest of his life. Um, and then if he abuses them, then he won't have anyone to help him. So all I did was brought karma closer and closer. So it's not a real curse. And I'm forcing impeccability. I'm forcing um, um, walking your talk, gentleness, kindness, peace. Um, you know, I'm bringing about these awful people um, some trauma drama into their situation that they can co-create with other people uh, to learn what they need to learn and the other thing too is like my teacher Bobado who passed in June I'm not attached anymore if the best solution right now for those kind of people is that they, they be taken off the planet they die Good. You know, whatever needs to happen, and I'm going to be a lot more proactive now because we really need to stand up and change the energy field. And you know what? Some people are not going to change. Um, there are genetic lines on this planet that um, come from different species around the universe that are not capable of this kind of change. And um, we really need to pu push that 51% mark globally so that we are the major shareholders of this planet. And if we need to do that in a gentle way, energetically, um, without anger and hate, like, you know, I'm not mad at him. I understand, but I don't want to deal with people like that anymore. So it's easier for me to create um, some kind of personal 
drama based on karmic connection and karmic fulfillment. Um, and then that way that stays busy over there while I'm doing this over here. Cause having a conversation is just not gonna thinking good thoughts, Adam, no, that's really not going to be helpful. So anyway, don't judge me. Um, but we really need to start getting on top of, um, people and their behavior and this whole burying your fucking head in the sand when people are yelling at other people or abusing other people or whatever. Stand up. Get a backbone. No. All right? And even if you have to pray that some divine intervention happened in the next 10 minutes to change this person's direction, you know, um, we have to have to end violence we have to stop it and we have to stand up to it wherever it is being passive and patient and watching why other people are abused or were abused and nobody's stepping up mind you at this meeting there was five or six people not one person said a thing to this guy i got an email right that oh we've recognized yeah we saw it just wanted to know that we saw it well what about stopping it or having stood up and said, you know, hey, this is totally inappropriate. And then the people continue to do business with this person. And you're just like, are you insane? Like, do you have a brain? Can you critically think? Like at this point, participating on any kind of level with these people is damaging the planet. It's destroying the planet and it's destroying us and it's destroying the water. It's destroying the air, allowing all these you know, negative, derogatory, controlling, manipulating, abusive, um, whatever you want to label it, negative people and beings to continue to bow down to them, to not stand up to them, to keep staying in business and working with them and not drawing a line in the sand, like immediately, um, you are part of the problem of what's going on. So it can't possibly change until you change. Anyway, sorry, just kind of had to go off on a little tangent there. But anyway, so sometimes it's necessary, right, to use your power in, in a loving way. I'm using it in a loving way because I love myself and I really love this planet. And I don't want those kind of people here anymore. If you can't, if you can't do it, get out. It's kind of my motto. Anyway, have a great day. I heard there's supposed to be some pretty phenomenal things going on. Um, there are some announcements that are coming out on YouTube across the globe. And we are days away from people stepping forward and buying our freedom in a good way, paying all of our debt. And um, it's going to be enormous. So change now change now. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.